our mobility routine. I'm gonna start with some shoulders movements. And what I want you to feel is that you're rolling one shoulder forward and then the other. So we go just rolling our shoulders forward, one and then the other. And we do kind of a, you see, involve, uh, involvement movement. We keep moving our chest and our ribs as well. And now we're gonna do doing the same backwards. So we go one shoulder, then the other. So we start warming up this joint as well. So we can go bigger if we feel like going a little bit bigger. We can add, as you see, my ribs and my chest. Okay, our Next mobility, now that we have moved a little bit our shoulders and we have warmed them up, we're gonna go with our ribs mobility. So we keep moving our upper our upper body. You can keep your hands on your ribs. We're gonna keep our legs shoulders width apart and our legs, our knees are a little bit flexed, a little bit soft. And from there, we try to move our ribs to one side and to the other. Pay attention, we are not moving the whole body. We are not moving either our hips and pelvis. So we're just moving our ribs. You can feel the range of motion is quite small, no worries, because that's how, how it is. We don't have too much mobility in our ribs, but that's gonna be really good for your upper back as well and for your lower back to bring some mobility. Okay, so now we're finished with that. We keep moving down. Okay, so now we're gonna focus on our hips and pelvis. And pelvis. We're gonna start with a super basic exercise. We're gonna go tilting our pelvis. So if you keep one hand front of your pelvis close to your pubis, the other one on your sacrum, back of your pelvis. We go tilting your pelvis forward and then your pelvis backwards. So we say we're, t we're tilting our pelvis forward because our pelvic bones here, our iliac bones are going forward, okay? Same as when we tilt our, our pelvis backwards. Here we should be keeping our knees bent so we can have more range of motion. Don't force too much your tilting forward if you're pregnant because that's gonna be a normal posture for you. So we don't want to exacerbate it and we go last one okay now we're gonna go moving our pelvis side to side so you can keep your hands on your pelvis same we keep our knees a little bit soft and we go pelvis side and up side and up really good so feel how your hips are moving as well within your pelvis we keep waking up all our pelvic muscles too. Okay, really good. And next one, we're gonna combine these movements into an infinity or an eight shape movement. Okay, so now we are combining all our pelvic movements an infinity shape movement. So we're gonna stay as, I, as you see wide stance. I'm gonna keep my, head, my knees a little bit soft and I'm gonna move my pelvis, draw in an infinity shape or an eight shape. So what you can do is just picture an infinity shape or an eight shape on the floor and we just follow it as we go. So we go moving our pelvis forward and then back. Okay, now we're going to reverse the movement. We're gonna move our pelvis doing that same infinity shape, but just going backwards. We were doing forward in the beginning. We just keep going there. You can try to isolate your movements as much as you can. Then we do the last one. Okay, shake it off. And we're gonna do our last exercise within this block, then we're gonna have another mobility block. And our last exercise, I'm gonna work on our lower back and upper back, we're gonna go lengthening. So we're gonna keep wide stance as well. 
shoulders width apart. We're going to keep our palms facing up. And we're going to go with our arms up and pelvis back. So we keep lengthening there so you feel your lower back lengthening. And we come back and we go lengthening again. And come back. We can do this exercise on a wall as well. So if you have a wall, you can keep your hands on the wall and we just spread from there. Always lengthening. Think about growing. So you pull your hands in one direction, you pull your pelvis in the opposite direction. And we keep going there. We're going to do three more. So keep lengthening. Keep feeling how your back is getting relaxed. And we go last one. Okay, ladies, we relax, we shake everything off, and now we will be ready to do, well, we could use it as the last part of the class, as a cool down, or if we're using it as a warm up, we will be ready to start with the main part of the class. Okay, and I'll see you in the second vlog.